got not well nothing different we still got a hunt and haul today but it's my compilation from my trip this week to reanimated records i had so much fun this week <laughs> um so much good stuff came in so, so these whoever's collections are just turning over and just deciding okay i don't need these movies anymore i thank you i thank you so much the prices have been great uh it, wonderful uh the basically i'm going to show you coming up i don't want to talk too much right now but what you're going to see is the footage that i just didn't add to last week's swap meet video but i threw in what i picked up from the store there was a lot of other goodies that i just wanted to at least show you give you a taste of more of the tape that it came in and whatnot then the second part of it what i found today uh just a whole bunch of stuff came in. I just took pan and scan of the shelf, slowed down, paused some moments. You're going to find some goodies in, in there. And just to see what I took home. Let's just see what I I pulled off the shelves today. One or two or three or four of them. We'll call them out of print, which technically you can go on eBay or a Macari, some other place and find it for an inflated price. But I was patient, I waited, and I finally was able to add these to my collection for a great deal, great price. Oh, I felt good. <laughs> it was oh, a great day, great day. I wasn't feeling great too, and then I got there and found all this and it just got my blood pumping and I love hunting. I just love hunting and this is why. So let me show you, let me show you what just happened to come in this week in my one favorite spot. And this is just this week, so who knows what the rest of the year will hold so here we go i got off work early there's a whole bunch of new stuff that came in and there's something i really really wanted or have wanted for a long time see how expensive it's gonna be stay tuned
And we're back. All right. Thanks, boys and girls, for whoever's still left, whoever's still watching, because you're about to see the finally good stuff. Or whoever skipped ahead and now just wants to see the movies. Here we go. Um, I, I, as normal, I like to throw in extras. Just throw in more movies that it just happen to pop up so I don't have to do a short little two-minute video. Because I'm a... I like to just t go out there, you know. I'm a sitcom kind of guy. So <laughs> we're shooting for that 20, 30 minutes all the time for some reason. Mr. Rambles. Uh, but anyways, this is the other stuff that I happen to pick up this week in between my favorite spot. Just a couple of things. And two things that came in from Severin. But selfless. Some uh, Region B random blue I found at the thrift. One of the good, well, probably Goodwill or something this week. And uh, I feel like picking it up. Uh, I like Ryan Reynolds, so pretty much anything he's in, I grab. Uh, grab this, getting ready for Halloween coming up. Uh, I'm not a streamer, and I do love me some... <sighs> we'll call it the original Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> the Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. I think this one also has Wind in the Willows. Yeah, Wind in the... Yes, it does. And uh, But it's basically Sleepy Hollow. So that's the other name for it. And then I've never seen this, but it looked interesting, and I like Mark Wahlberg. Uh, it's a Ridley Scott film. All the money in the world. And it has one of them slippity things. Slippity doodads. So, it, I don't know. It came, you know, it was cheap. And I was like, huh, looked interesting. Read well and all that. A smart, taut, and stylish thriller. I do like me a good thriller. So, and then the two things that came in the mail before we get into the pickups from today. Nightmare. Ugh. I'm so glad I, you know, it's funny. Well, I'll tell you more in a minute. But Nightmare, <laughs> I love this movie. It's not for everyone. It's kind of crazy and weird at times, but uh, very bloody, you know, and I love my blood. And uh, the Blu-ray of this, the Code Red, was going for like 60 to $80, somewhere in that range. And uh, I found one today for 20 bucks because of this edition. So... I'm just glad I waited because I wanted the 4K anyways. You know, but now if you guys are only really needing the Blu-ray, that Blu-ray has come down major. So don't overpay still for it. If anyone's still trying to get that 60 to 80, it should be down in that 20, 30 range now. Uh, this was the exclusive slip for that sale. I can't remember what even sale I did this on. <laughs> uh, Maniac 2 was a love story or love to kill. It's basically the last horror film, you know, normal title, but you get this cool Maniac 2 slip when you ordered in that sale. Honestly, they could have lied to us and it could still be available on their website, but I don't check because I already have it. And uh, if you don't have it, it's probably one to grab. Uh, I could see that selling out quick if it is any place that still has it. Now... Here we go. I, I, I don't know if I even put these in a random order, but I I think they're in the right kind of order I want to show you. So, first one, just another Scream Factory, because I still do collect them, even though they're not my number one. Uh, Dracula, Dead and Loving It. I love me some uh, Les, Les, Leslie Nielsen. Um, Leslie Nielsen, however you want to pronounce it. But, I mean, made, I mean, top, or, uh, uh, Naked Gun and stuff, like the whole trilogy, and I, I think that's probably my, my favorite of his stuff, but this isn't, it's a Mel Brooks movie as well, so Mel Brooks, and you can imagine what those two could have do, and I just, I haven't seen this in so long, and I felt like I just needed to pick it up, just wanted it. You know me and my weird, like, disgusting, gross, fun stuff, uh, 2LDK, so had to get this from Unearthed. Unearth Films is one of my favorite labels of the the weird and nasty and stuff like that. So pretty much anything they put out, I'll, I'll watch. Uh, sick and Twisted, yet disturbingly hilarious. Uh, I remember this selling out once, then coming back, selling out, coming up in print. This was actually the cheapest I've ever picked it up or found it. So even online. So I was like, perfect. A little frustrated, missed out on probably a cheap Dr. Lamb today. Another guy, I don't I think he watches my channel, Jose. 
uh, who's a local, he, he beat me to it. He was off work, obviously, before I was, and he, he took home a couple of unearthed films that I probably would have grabbed. Uh, finally have this in my collection. I only really have... I have the Eureka Blu-ray, the Region B Eureka of this particular combination. But I've always wanted the Scream Factory edition of Troll and Troll 2. Uh, I I love both the movies. Troll 1 is an excellent, like, fantasy horror to me. Troll 2 is more of a silly horror. You know, Neil Bogg and Milk and all that stuff. And I love how he's at the... The ending of this one is great. I mean, this one too, but... This one's way more scary, you know, as a kid. But Troll, the Troll series, it was like a must. Like once I saw, I put another movie back so I could take that home because I just wanted it in my collection. I like Troll that much. Uh, I've always wanted this as well. Uh, Contamination with the uh, shiny cool slip. I would say it's rare, but it's not common. You know, it's like you can find it on eBay and other places, but it's not like, look at that, all of the shine. It's not like um, on the shelf either, like every day. So great price too for the special edition with the slip, contamination. Uh, this I've always wanted to pick up, Sup not super expensive, but more generally than I wanted to pay, like on a eBay. Uh, Masker Videos 555, um, couldn't leave this behind either. Another one of my just gore festy kind of things. Uh, comparison, if you look it up, like go look it up on the bay. For me, th I mean, this was $10 and that's before the discount. So great deal, even if I wasn't getting a discount. So $10, there we go. I would hope to get a discount. Um, like at Best Buys and Walmarts and the Swap Meet actually gives me discounts. They always throw in stuff, but I just wish more of the chain stores out there, um, or even like the I don't want to name names that I like at the, right now, but like even certain more online stores keep adapting to their like point system, like kind of like how Vinegar's doing, which I actually almost picked up one of those member choice slips today. <sighs> See, uh, who knows? The week it's early in the week. <laughs> uh, buried alive. Um, guess what? This else. It's not, I mean, it's one of them alternate throw you off, you know, names. Buried Alive. But it's really... Da, 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 da. Beyond the Darkness. Are you scared yet? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. I love this. I just like how I love slips that have a completely different name. And then the movie underneath, like, completely different. So, like, like Terminator 2. And Severin's really good with doing that stuff. So, I love it. There's more. Uh, I finally grabbed this, which is gone, too. Video Violence 1 and 2. Uh, I do actually have this on a DVD set. Um, but this is just... It, once I saw this in person, I mean, with the slip box you know, and the slip that it comes in and everything, it was just too good to pass up. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love it. Yes. The only thing that could have been cooler is that eyeball right there. If they could have like, kind of like encased it, like kind of plastic or glass, not glass, but plastic and had it like one of those bobbly swirly eyes. So I could have like swirled it for you. Like that would have been Upper, I would have added another twenty dollars in value to me. <laughs> so, uh, video violence one and two, the snuff collection. Okay, this is it's, we're getting down to probably like my final, their final three, but two of them are like I'm happy, like the most happy to find. Probably all three of them, all of these I'm actually happy. But one of my favorites right here, Evil Speak. Uh, Code Red Scream combination. I think this is no, this is the Scream one. Evil speak. Um, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> this thing goes for also cr crazy, crazy astronomical. Like, who whose video that I watched today? Nick. Nick over at Movie Avian Pulse. He was talking about his uh, wife's favorite TV series that he, they got 
18 years ago monsters which actually looks really cool i, I would have bought it too it looks like an awesome tv show but anyways he's talking about like how ebay is like showing the prices or it's like astronomical what the value is like and because somebody hasn't re re uh either got the rights or re-released it in some way shape or form uh, you can well watch it probably, I guess, on one of them streaming thingamajiggers, streaming sites. <laughs> but we don't do that here on the physical media channel. Evil Speak, same thing. I, I looked this thing up just to make sure I wasn't overpaying. Because sometimes I'll do that. I mean, I'll, I don't ever see them overcharge in my store. Um, sometimes they're at least even, you know, like right at the cost for a couple bucks under. But never over. And this was so... It's a deal of a deal. I mean, it was my steal of the deal for the month. And with compared to what I would pay online, there's like one that's close to what I had right now that's got an actual bid on it. It was funny when I looked at it earlier. No bid. Now it's got a bid already uh, because of compared to the other prices. So go look this thing up. And if you want it, that one bid guy, you might want to bid him up because you ain't going to find that for all. Look at the look. Scroll down on that thing. It's like. Oh man, what did I see? We'll say like 70 bucks, 90 bucks. I think I saw someone asking $400 for that movie. I was like, $400? Crazy. Obviously, that guy's on who knows what he's smoking. But yeah, Evil Speak, finally glad to have it in the collection. Ron Howard right there. Uh, I mean, yes. I'm going to be watching that very soon. And then this bad boy. <laughs> Um, so beautiful. The New York Ripper. Look at it twirl and spin. But yes, uh, it's the 4K restoration, you know? It's the 3-disc, one of the, you know, I think I have two of these other ones from Blue Underground. I can't remember which ones, but it, it's just beautiful. And this camera is not going to do it justice. Like the lenticular, like three-dimensional uh, slip cover thing that it has on it yeah it's just it's awesome so pick this one up finally also another not common slip anymore not like easy to find or whatever so when i found it all complete and together for like the same price i'd probably find just the standard blue i was like picking it up and then my final one and because i i, I do like my arrow limited edition big box kind of stuff i didn't have this one and it was again right in my price range <coughs> beyond the door anyways uh it's complete it has everything it's got everything that i wanted you know and more <laughs> so um i i i was so happy today so happy to find some missing pieces to the collection uh and the one item if you guys i guess i'll bring it up now because i'm wearing the shirt the one item i had in my hand the first thing that's the one i wanted i wanted halloween set i i still do i'm still on the fence i even called my mom to see if she wanted to buy it <laughs> but <laughs> I just didn't like that rip. That's that tear on the side of the box would have just ate at me. And just because if I had looked at if it was on the bottom, probably. But if it, it's just because it's somebody had to rip it, <sighs> and I, I get it's an older set and it's being it's gonna be some ding and dang, bing bang, some you know, scratches here and there on this stuff. But I, if I'm gonna pay two hundred dollars, I better not have the the rip right there. So. I don't know. I don't know. And plus, I already have all the Screen Factory Halloween 4Ks. So it's pretty much like I have all, I already have them on a better release, like the Blu-ray 4K already. So do I really need to duplicate it just because it's the cool box and spend $200? The more I talked about it, the more I didn't do it. The more I talked myself out of it. So I felt, I felt good. I felt like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and get the better value with movies that I didn't have or wanted and would 
equal out more in the long run if I was to like value them out by price, which I don't, which I didn't care. I just want to get the most bang for my buck. You know, I want to stretch that dollar bill. Stretch it. I want it to be like the size of your 65, 75, 85 inch TV right now. Yeah. So you never know. You might see that Halloween set come home soon, but it, I'm going to have to figure I might maybe trade in some shirts or something. I don't know. I got a barter to justify. I'm going to, to offset it. I don't know. My hope is this is gone. You know, that I just won't get it. And I'll live, I'll survive, and I'll be fine. Just fine. That's what I like about movies, because there's always more to come out, and there's just tons of them all the time, you know? So it's like, oh, why not wait? Why not wait? And look at that. Like, they're not even done around right. God, I'm a messy money shot right now. <sighs> Adam, 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 Adam. Let's try to do that over a second time. I'm better the second time, so are we all? There we go. That's a little bit better. A little bit more color. A little bit more pop in your face. That's it. So no more random sadness. No more other talk. But I, I just so happy with today's haul. And again, uh, I hope you grabbed your snacks and went to the bathroom. No commercial breaks here. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. And I just thanks again, everybody, for just be you being you. Let me go watch one of you guys probably right now. So, later.